Hey guys, welcome to HNS Carby. In today's video, we're going to talk about YouTube's new video quality settings. Um, now, if we open up the YouTube app and let's say we have a video playing, uh, if we pause that and go click on the three dots on the top, then we go to the quality. The new video quality uh, settings look something like this. As you can see, you have four options, auto, higher picture, data saver, advanced. Now, for those of you who want to switch it back to the old version, there are basically a couple of ways of doing it. You can either use an older version of the YouTube app or you can um, uninstall the updates of YouTube app from, the, from your phone setting. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Uh, because uh, at some point you would have to update your app to the latest version um, as the latest version is always recommended to be used for any of the apps because um, you're not really getting this one particular feature you also get a lot of other smaller features and bugs fixes uh, which come along with the new uh, updates so it is always recommended to use the latest version of the app so we're going to look at how we can change the settings over here and make them useful for us so we can um, enjoy the YouTube as we were uh, doing it previously. So here, as you can see, uh, we have four options. Uh, one way of getting back to the old uh, version is if we click on the advanced option, that will show you uh, all the options which you previously had, just like uh, before and you can set uh, or choose a particular uh, video quality over here. Let's say we select 360 and that will change to 360. But one drawback of this is that as you can see quality for current video, if we change something over here, it will only be changed for this particular video. And if we move to the next video, um, you would um, get, it will change back to auto again. So let's say if we play another video over here, let's say this one, let me pause this. And now if we go to quality again, it has been changed again to auto. So there's no actual way of setting a particular uh, resolution over here. So you can't do that uh, over here. So we're going to look at how we can change these settings for each of our videos. So first I'm going to show you what each of these means. So auto means that if you have a good amount of uh, data available and your internet speed is good as well, then auto is recommended because that will uh, automatically adjust the quality as per your uh, internet speed. However, if you are on a limited data, then auto is not recommended because obviously if you are uh, getting good uh, internet speed, but you only have uh, a limited amount of data available, then uh, you would get good quality picture, but your data will run out very soon. So it is only recommended if you are on a Wi-Fi network. Next, we have the high picture quality. High picture quality means that you will always get HD quality picture depending on your internet speed, but it will again um, consume a lot of data. So it is not recommended. Third one is data saver. Data saver is usually recommended for the uh, mobile users who are on a limited uh, data plan. So they can use this in order to save their uh, MBs or GBs, whatever they have. And um, this will be useful if you are on a uh, limited data plan or if you are a mobile user. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you change something here, it will only be changed for this particular video. If you want to set um, something for all of your videos, for that you need to click on these blue uh, settings option at the bottom. If you click on the preferences, that will open up a new uh, window over here. And here it shows you different uh, options. As you can see, we have two options, video quality and mobile networks and video quality and Wi-Fi. So uh, for the mobile uh, networks, as I've explained earlier, it is recommended to use data saver if you are on a limited data plan. If you have good amount of data available, then you can switch it back to auto. But I wouldn't recommend using the high quality picture because um, that will consume a lot of data and it is mostly not recommended. Uh, so for the mobile users, I would recommend to keep it on data saver. And obviously you can always change it back to uh, some other setting if you uh, have good amount of data and then you can switch it back to auto. 
for the video quality on Wi-Fi, it is always recommended to keep it on auto uh, because on auto it will automatically give you the best uh, picture quality or the best resolution available as per your internet speed. So if your internet speed is good, it could go up to 1080 pixels or wherever the highest resolution is available for that video or it could um, go down um, to 360 or 480 as well. So that's all for today's video. Hope this was helpful and you've learned how to change the video quality settings for your YouTube app. And now you're able to uh, figure out for yourself if you want to keep it on auto or data saver as per your particular requirements. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section and I'll be happy to help. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.